When I first learned about American missionaries going to Brazil in the 1900s, I, I celebrated. I, 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 I felt like they were doing the right thing because Brazil was in bondage of a religion of works, of a religion that worships uh, idols. And then those missionaries came to free us from those kind of bondages. You know, that's what I used to think. And as the time passed, I, I came to realize that that was more than only, uh, how can I say, a religious endeavor. And with all due respect, that, that was a way of exporting American culture throughout the world and including Brazil. I, I started realizing that even before I became Catholic, how American missionaries, they, they go overseas and they bring the gospel uh, in their understanding, okay? But they also bring their culture as if their culture was the gospel, as if being American means being Christian. I do not blame them. Uh, like, I, I do not think that they did that out of uh, evil motivations, especially because if they were able to reach Catholics was because the Catholics were not well taught, <laughs> well trained, you know, in, in the faith. So I think it's, it's uh, our fault as well as Catholics. We have to disciple our people. We have to teach our people. So I, I, I do not think it was like uh, they, they were mean, they were evil in their efforts. But I have to recognize that, that they, come, they came to Brazil with a very specific agenda. Now, as a, as a Catholic, I, I understand that they did what they had to do. And what I mean by that is uh, the very reason of Protestantism is being against the Catholic Church. The name itself, Protestantism. You protest. You protest against what? You protest against the Catholic Church. If I think the Catholic Church is a valid church, I'll just shut my doors and go to the Catholic Church. So, in a sense, they came out of love for the lost, but in another sense, they came out of ignorance as well. A recent world religion research came out saying that out of the largest monotheistic religions of the globe, uh, uh, Islamic and Judaism and Christianity, only Christianity is spread all over the globe. Uh, and, and other major religions as well. They may have millions of followers, but they are confined to a certain region of the globe. If you think 90% of Muslims live in, in a certain part of the globe, 90% of Hindus, 90% of Buddhists, they live in a certain part of the globe. Only Christianity is spread out throughout the globe. But that same way of thinking is valid for Protestant denominations. When you think of Protestant denominations, they are very confined to certain regions. And there is, all, there is even a study that shows that Protestant denominations are divided by social status, income rate, and other stuff like that, because it's it's a cultural thing. So that leaves us with the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is the only global religion that it's spread out throughout the globe. And that's the beauty. It's one of the beauties of this universality of the Catholic Church. Because you, if you go to, I don't know, South Africa, Japan, China, uh, Sweden, Portugal, Brazil, Mexico, you are going to find one church, one church. They have their 
uh, cultural issues. They have their cultural characteristics, but they believe the same thing. They are under one pastor, which is the Pope, and they know the Catholic Church no, because it's the Church of Christ, the, the, the real Church of Christ, they know how to adapt culturally without uh, harming the gospel.